Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. I'm pretty sure it's hump day. Who knows even what day it is anymore, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hang on while I dip under the desk to turn off the space heater because even though it's almost May, it's still cold and crummy here. Okay, I just ran out to the garage to tell Steve to turn off his streaming of his music, Mr. Complete Tech Savvy Guy. <laughs> I know, he's so proud of himself. I really am too, because um, he didn't work in like a job where you had to know how to do anything with a computer until really, really late, right before he retired. Um, he was having to kind of keep track of inventory and stuff on a computer. So he was a steam fitter. He was he didn't have an office job. So the fact that he knows how to run a Samsung phone, for the most part, not real good, but I mean, he can do it. And he streamed his phone to his stereo is absolutely crazy to me. And I'm so glad that he's not going, I don't want anything to do with that because I can't deal with all that. <laughs> like I need somebody who's willing to learn. That's that's how I roll. <laughs> I have some friends whose husbands will not have anything to do with smartphones whatsoever. And um, I get it if you're older because it's a lot to take on. But if you're not that older, you're going to get left in the dust. <laughs> oh, Charlene says it is cold and rainy in Antioch, Illinois, too. It is cold and rainy here. And it's funny because when I went outside to go to the garage... Um, Kyle wanted out. Kyle is our cat. I like Kyle. I'm not a big cat person, but um, Kyle's pretty cool. And I let him out. So I went in the garage, talked to Steve for a few minutes, and we talked about how next winter we're going to be someplace where it's warm. Like March and April, we're not going to be dealing with this. Sorry, is Haley on here yet? She's not going to like this. <laughs> but we're going someplace warm. You can come visit. <laughs> But um, anyways, when I came out of the garage, Kyle was standing there like, come on, let me back in. It's crazy out here because it's so windy today. And so I'm like, I told you you wouldn't like to be out here. Don't you wish you knew what the animals were thinking? So anyways, I let him back in the house. I ran in the bathroom. And when I came out, he wanted to go back outside. Like, what? What is up with that? Get, get it together, cat. <laughs> Hi, Jared. I was going to come. Oh, and it's Haley on Jared's phone. Hi, you guys. So I went over to visit Little Miss Val today, and the kids requested ice cream from JD's Drive-In. I've never been to JD's before, but that was um, Jared's stomping grounds where he used to live in Appleton. So I went and got them ice cream, and it was funny because I there were like 20 cars lined up to get food. And I thought, good for you, JD's, because they're at least keeping some money coming in, right? And um, then I did a phone call with my Optavia coach while I was sitting in the parking lot. So that was kind of funny because I'm like, well, you're probably not going to know or not going to like where I am. So that's Bev. You know, I always say, is Bev listening? Um, and, and she goes, well, you could just tell me that all the food you're ordering is for, for the kids and not for you. I said, no, it's the onion rings and the fish sandwich are mine. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I also reported to her this morning that I have gained no weight. This whole thing, I have gained not a pound. So I just stepped on the scale this morning, and I am still weighing in at the same amount. And I'm, it's kind of hard to believe, right? Because, gosh, I ate the chips with the guacamole, and Steve made crock pot lasagna, um, not yesterday, but the day before, to take over to Haley and Jared. So I had that twice. And then he put um, country style ribs in the crock pot with barbecue sauce. He browned them first so they have good flavor and then puts them in the crock pot and cooks them all day. Then they're just falling off. Oh my gosh. I put them away last night. That was my midnight snack. As I was putting them away, I was like eating them. And somebody just asked how far Haley and Jared live from us. They are, I don't know. It's not even 10 minutes probably. Well, maybe 10 minutes away. So they're make maybe three miles through the city. But um, they moved closer to us because they were they were in an apartment on the north side of Appleton. And now they're in um, like a townhouse. And 
uh, it's over closer to us. So that's really nice. But I have to tell you, and I'm not usually, usually driving. I pretty much know where I am all the time. Like I'm pretty good with directions. I'm not good when you put me out in the woods. I can get lost very easily. <laughs> We know this about me, but um, my sense of direction goes out the window when we're up bear hunting. But um, usually for driving, I have a pretty good sense of direction. And for some reason, I just can't wrap my head around where they are. Like I can get here from, the, I can get there from here, but, um, oh, about five minutes, Haley said, <laughs> five minutes from them. Um, so I can get there from here. But once I go someplace else, like I went to JD's drive-in, and I'm like, I know they're over in this area, but I don't know which road to get there. But I did it today. I didn't have to, like, run around the block or anything. I did it. So, like I said, usually when I'm driving, I really know where I am. But for some reason, I just can't wrap my head around their location. I need to look at a map, like a Google Maps, and go, okay, that's where they are. Then I know how to come into it from all different directions. So yeah, I see lots of people popping in. Hi, Kathy Beck, Marilyn, Kim, Pam. So I heard from um, Sharon Kersey today and she said, oh my gosh, I always watch you live. And the one live she missed, she missed my card. Well, it's her card that I made last night. And she goes, you knocked it out of the park. You did a great job. And then somebody else, I don't know who, and I can't, rem I can't find the message again because they're coming in from all over the place had said, I never showed you what was in the box. These towels were in the box, remember? It says, um, you are my favorite. And then this beautiful towel and the card to match. Super, super cute. So that's what was in that little box. And right now that I'm telling you that, I got some more mail today. And it's it's a little box. It's sitting in my kitchen. And I, I got the mail, brought it in, and ran out the door because Haley and Jared had requested ice cream. And I wanted to get over there. And I didn't open my mail yet. So I'll share that tomorrow. What else is happening? We have a winner from... Oh, um, somebody said their car has a compass. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that would probably be helpful when I'm running around kind of in their neighborhood to know where I am. Because like I said, I know how to get there from here. It's easy. Um, but I don't know how to come into it from other places and there's lots of other places because that's a big shopping area over where they live. Well, it used to be. And you know what else I noticed? So the other day when I was driving kind of over by their area in this shopping area, um, Marshall's Home Goods is open. I think it's Home Goods Marshall's, um, which is like a kind of like a department store. And I'm like, is that really a necessary business? Like, I don't think so. I don't sell anything there that's necessary. Now, clothing is necessary. Don't get me wrong, because I love to shop for clothes. But I'm wondering why they're open. It was kind of weird. I don't know. But anyways, um, I haven't watched any news today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anne says she's having ice cream for supper. Mm, that sounds great. <laughs> I'm in. I'm going to have barbecued ribs for supper. And I had a fish sandwich and onion rings for lunch. And a mozzarella stick, because that's what the kids wanted. And they ate the ice cream. I didn't have any ice cream. I figured it'd melt by the time I was done, and I'd be overstuffed anyways. And then, after I got done holding little Miss Val, who was a perfect angel, of course, I came home and promptly took a two-hour nap. So, you might notice a little energy level that's kicked up and uh, a little crazy tonight. I hope not. I hope I can keep it together. But I'm full of energy and ready to roll. I, oh, did you guys see on my blog today, I haven't posted on my Facebook page, but I will. I was the guest tutorialist on splitcoaststampers.com. That's always exciting and such an honor to be asked to do that. And I shared a front flap fun fold. Oh, I can show them to you. Oh, I have them right here. I did put them aside so that I could show them to you. Um, this is the card that I demonstrated using the country club cool right neat card love that golf paper the whole country club suite is really cool here's my envelope and I stamped the golf ball on the front and I have a whole online class going on that you can sign up for right now um, it's pre-registration for it I won't actually have the PDF file available until May 16th I think but everybody who signs up by May 9th gets a pre-cut cards. Well, can. You can get a pre-cut cardstock pack. If you order the whole suite for me, 
you get it for free with the online class for free, or you can order the online class with the pre-cut cardstock pack, or you can just order the online class, but it's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's got nine different cards. We always do eight cards plus a bonus, and um, they're really cool. So I need to start working on that. I, we've got the ideas. I've got the ideas picked out. This is the one I do with my friend Barb and Dina, so we all collaborate together to bring you this class. I've got the cards all picked out. We all have our cards picked out. Um, designed what we're gonna do and we just need to get it done now and then I also have my stamping society tutorial is due on Friday that's on my list when I get done here tonight because I got together some ideas um, our theme is to use uninked stamps so that means you bought a stamp set but you haven't used it yet and um, I know we all have them pretty much right <laughs> It's embarrassing, but you're not alone. I know I'm not alone in that. And let's see, I piled that over here. That's what I was working on this morning when I ran over with the ice cream. But look at this. I'm going to be using this one. It is the birthday goodness. It is retiring. And I fell in love with the stamp set. I'm embarrassed to say that I have never used it. I am embarrassed because it is stinking adorable. So coming up with some really, really cool cards with this. That'll be part of my Stamping Society tutorial. Now, with that, there's a blog hop. There's one demonstrator in each of our countries, so we're each in a different country. That's kind of cool. And we are picking whatever stamp set we want to use that we haven't used yet. And um, there'll be a blog hop. You can hop from blog to blog and see what people made. And then when you place an order from me in May, you will get a tutorial with exclusive projects that aren't in the blog hop and exclusive video tutorials. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Cheryl says she has about 90% unused stamps. Girlfriend, you need to get busy. No, I'm just kidding. No judging. I promise. And, um, oh, I see it's 10 a.m. in Melbourne. Melbourne. I think that's how you say it, right? I have a lot of Australian friends and um, I think it's Melbourne. That's how Kylie pronounces it. So how do you find the tutorial on Split Coast? You go to my blog, www.astampabove.com. And I always post everything on my blog. All of the projects that I share with you on Facebook Live, you can head over to my blog and you will see still photos because sometimes the quality isn't that great, right? You'll see still photos of all the projects, close-up photos. There's also a complete shopping list there. So if you're like... I can't remember what color of ink she used. Is this red or is it Poppy Parade or is it Cherry Cobbler? You'll find the complete shopping list, which is also a complete ingredient list of all the inks, all the colors of cardstock. I almost always put the dimensions on there. I know how much you guys appreciate that, and I do too when I'm looking for ideas. But all of that is always on my blog. So if you head over to my blog, in the right-hand column, there's a place where you can subscribe to it. When you put your email address in there, you will um, get an email every time I add something new to it. And I see Liz just said, as in Melbourne. Is it really Melbourne? I, I always thought it was Melbourne. I thought that's how Kylie pronounced it, but it's Melbourne, because that's the way I always want to pronounce it. Okay, I'm getting an Aussie education today. I have a very good friend, um, Lynn, in Australia, and she emails me every few do days or so, and she's the funniest lady, but I love hearing about um, different, just the different phrases that they use. Like, instead of saying, I'm mailing the cards, she's going, she's posting them. I think that's how she says it. And today I messaged her and I said, I love hearing how you say things different. And then she asked me about Mother's Day and Father's Day, because their Mother's Day is in May, like ours. And then their Father's Day, I think she said, is in September, but ours is in June. So in case anybody outside the U.S. wanted to know that, there you go. Oh, Liz said I did it right. It's Melbourne. I always wanted to call it Melbourne. I wonder why Kylie says Melbourne. Maybe that's just a kind of a slangy way to say it. I don't know. Anyways, here's another card. Oh, stop on that. <laughs> Here we go. This uses those clubhouse elements. These are the wooden elements that are part of the suite. Now, these are not part of what you need to order to get my online class for free. But um, Diana says she loves Kylie and Bruno. Funny story, Diana. I know, here I go again. Haley and I met um, Kylie and Bruno for the first time standing in a line in 
Hawaii. I think we were in Maui. No, nope, Maui's where we're going next. We were on Oahu. We were in Oahu. And we were standing in line for a stamping up something or another. And that's where we met Kylie and Bruno. And we just struck up a conversation with them. And they were getting the biggest kick out of Haley was talking something about guns because we hunt. And they were like, that's just so crazy that you just have a gun at your house. And, and yeah, we've got lots of them. <laughs> But that's how we got to know Kylie and Bruno, and we've been friends ever since, and of course spend a little bit of time with them on all of the incentive trips and um, and any kind of Stampin' Up! events that they are, um, we're fortunate enough that they travel to. So they're just really fun people. Okay, um, let's see, how am I doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing great today. Like I'm feeling a little bit behind but I'm hoping to alleviate that tonight. I also have some team um, work that I have to take care of because we had a team meeting like almost two weeks ago and I need to get the door prizes out in the mail. So Lisa, one of my team members, was um, sweet enough to offer to draw all the names for the people that participated in the meeting. And now I need to, I have the winners, I just need to get everything packaged up and out in the mail. And that's a whole, you know, another thing, right? Hi, Colleen Miller, I'm so happy to see you. Um, so here's the other card with those wooden elements and I know it's probably hard to see but this is not just a circle it's a golf ball that's embossed and it has a um, it has um, texture like the little holes in a golf ball and again you will be able to see all of these on my blog in still photos that look much better than they probably look here on the screen so last but not least I, oh, here's my envelope. I stamped that little golf ball on the front and then I did the back of it with the paper. Yay, using the designer paper. And then this is another one. And this panel is just a little bit smaller and I mentioned that in my blog post. Look at what I did in there. I love that golfer. I stamped him in crushed curry and stamped him off once before I put him on the inside panel. I just thought that was really cute. So, um, Diana's saying dimples, but I don't know what that's about. I missed something. Diana, what about dimples? <laughs> and here's my envelope. So another great man card. And every year, you guys, um, if you follow me for a while, you know that in January, Steve and his high school friends, there's two of them, have birthdays. All three of them, their birthdays are in January. And so we go out to dinner or have a weekend or something. And I always need cards for those guys. And they golf. So these are going to be their cards this year. And I am done way, way ahead of time. Yay, CQ 2020, right? <laughs> I know. It's good for something. Yeah. So, winner from yesterday. Um, I have, what is the embossing folder called? It's called Absolutely Argyle. That's a really good question. I used embossing on this one. That embossing folder right here. Absolutely Argyle. Dimples. Oh, yes, dimples in the, in the balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't in the golf balls. This is a family show. We have dimples in the golf balls. Oh look, I have dimensionals I almost threw aside. But yes, they're called dimples. Thank you for clarifying that because I'm like, dimples? I don't have any. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, winner from yesterday. I was, I thought this was really funny. So I drew a name and then I went in to, to look up her address and I found out she's from Willard, Wisconsin. And I know where that is. I am originally from Nielsville. And that's right in the middle of the state of Wisconsin. And Willard isn't too far from there. Linda Volvasek. 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 That's how you say it, I'll bet. Hi, Dan Trout. I'm happy to see you popping in here. Hang on to your hat. You're going to get some stamping knowledge tonight. Um, Linda Volvasek. No, Volus, Volavasek. I don't know. Linda, you won. You're from Willard, Wisconsin. You know who you are. I have got some of the um, Woven Threads Sequin Assortment. And you guys, these are so pretty. I love using these for shaker cards or just for embellishing on the front of cards. Look how pretty they are. Oh my lord, they're all sparkly. Lots of bling going on in there. So, Linda... These will be coming your way, and congratulations. Let me get your name back on there. I also had a winner who won. Valerie Albanese was my monthly drawing. Now, when I tell you guys to use that host code, I do a monthly drawing. 
and the person who wins that drawing gets a stamp set of their choice and Valerie chose let me grab it here things are stacked so they're gonna oh good they didn't fall over um, Valerie chose peaceful moments so yay this is a really great word set Valerie it was a really good choice on your part Hang on, I don't want things falling over here. So I have to get all of those out in the mail tomorrow. Thank you guys. Thanks, Joanne says she loves the golf cards. I do too. They're really fun and easy to make, and they're a fun fold and super easy to make. Um, let's see. What else do I have? I gotta put Cindy's card back down here because I need to make that one. And I will put the card from Sharon. Oh, I know. Hang on. Sharon Kersey. So yesterday I was bragging about my envelope. Let me grab that too. Remember um, this card that I made yesterday and I decorated the flap on the envelope? Well, when I pulled the other stuff out of the box, the like stuffing or whatever, yeah, this was Sharon's card and she decorated her envelope too. And there's those cutie patootie little flowers from that um, abstract impression stamp set. I just love those. They're super simple and they look like little poppies, don't they? So I needed to make sure that I showed you her um, envelope because she decorated it and I, I chose to decorate my flap. Super cute, no matter what. People are going to love this coming in their mail, right? I can't wait to um, get those towels washed and put them in my kitchen, but I'm going to hide them from Steve because we talked about this. He's the reason we can't have nice things. <laughs> Boys, yeah. Are we ready to stamp? I think we might be ready to stamp. And Sharon says it's raining in Ohio, too. I know. It's really crummy. Really, really crummy. Um, all right. You miss, you miss me saying Weedly. Well, I've started calling her Miss Val. Haley doesn't really like Weedly that much. <laughs> I think it's hysterical. <laughs> she's little Miss Val. And, oh, she's so pretty, you guys. I just held her, and she slept most of the time again. I'm going to have to start pinching her. No, I won't. <laughs> so that she wakes up but I just held her and, and uh, then Jared fed her a bottle while I held her Haley's Haley's pumping so she had a bottle and oh it was just so nice right and then everybody was yawning so it was time for me to leave I get a hint no I'm just kidding I was yawning too so and Kathy Larson is coming to us from Marshfield Wisconsin I love Marshfield that's by my mom um, and I miss going over there I don't know that's kind of sad right Okay, let me pull you up on my screen before I flip you around. I've got you plugged in. I made Steve turn off his streaming, so that was good. And um, we should be good here shortly. Oh, and Chris Wood said she just made it. Yeah, Haley will be doing. That whole scrapbook, Kathy, is actually for the baby. So that is that is her scrapbook. And so Haley, the rest of the pages will include her. And oh my gosh, you guys, they did a photo shoot. So cute. So they've got her little foot in there and their wedding ring sitting on it. You can practically put their wedding rings over her whole little tiny foot. And she's gaining back all her weight that she lost since she left the hospital on Saturday. So she's now up to six pounds, two ounces. Oh, is that right? How much did she weigh? I think she was 6'4", so she's got only got two ounces to go. So that's exciting news, right? Okay. I think somebody just said something about pinching. My kindergarten, my kindergarten friends will be happy to hear that my pinching thumb is croaking. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that means, but it's funny. <laughs> Jean's doing a Zoom meeting every week with her family. Let us keep up with each other while quarantining. Yeah, I think that's a really great idea. And I have been doing, um, my mom doesn't have an iPhone, so I can't FaceTime her, but I can go on Instant Messenger on Facebook and we see each other. The hard part is she doesn't have good internet because she lives out in the country. So sometimes it's pretty crummy and there's a delay and sometimes it breaks up, but we're doing the best. Yeah, six pounds, two ounces. Today she's back to six one, Haley said. So I wasn't too bad. Yeah, they gain a lot of weight fast. It won't be long before her clothes are fitting her because nothing fits at all. Nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip you guys around so we can start some stamping. Hang tight. I'll let you know when you can open your eyes. I don't want anybody getting motion sickness and throwing up. 
let me tuck my cord up here so it's out of the way. Oh my gosh, I can't get it. There we go. Okay, my little calendar back up. All right, I think we're ready, you guys. You can pop your eyes open. So this is the address of my blog where you're going to find still photos of all the stuff that I make along with the incomplete ingredient list. <clears throat> You'll be able to see the products <clears throat> in the shopping list. Sorry, my throat is like... <clears> throat> In the shopping list, when you click on any of the items in the shopping list, it takes you right to my online store where you can see a bigger picture, see how much they cost, get the details about them. It's pretty cool. So today, I am using a pretty little rainbow of colors. We have Granny Apple Green, Highland Heather, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Mango Melody. And Mango Melody is kind of an orange. My labels are fading from the sun a little bit. These are the colors that we're going to be using. And let me get, what are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I have? Same old with strawberry lemonade. I better take a drink because I talk a lot, right? Okay. So I actually have a few cards here and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. And let me just say, we're stamping on the fly tonight, folks. I have not done any of this yet. So I kind of did a little mock-up on a scrap of cardstock and thought, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. So Whisper White three and three quarters by five. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that's one by three and three quarters. Basic Black that's one and an eighth by three and three quarters. Black that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Spares. <laughs> just in case because when we stamp on the fly we never know what's going to happen right and then i've got highland heather i've been really into the purples lately but i've got other colors to show you too this is five and a half by eight and a half and <laughs> kathy's my cheerleader she says go kelly you got this well kathy thank you so much and we shall see won't we <laughs> we'll see how i have this could be uh you know i always um, stress a little bit when I'm stamping on the fly because it could be just a complete disaster. You never know. I decided to bring in one of my favorites, which is Perennial Birthday. This is such an amazing stamp set and it's got some beautiful, beautiful um, sentiments with really fun fonts. All these little elements are something that I always have a lot of fun with. So I decided to use this for some quick and easy cards. My mom just told me she needs <clears throat> sympathy cards and birthday cards for adults. She's got enough child birthday cards, but I need to refill her on um, adult birthday cards. And I thought, well, these are going to be bright and cheerful, and I think that she will love them. So <clears throat> first thing we're going to do, bring in all our stamps here. And I've got my happy birthday. So we're going to stamp that on here first. And then I might do something that's just a tad bit shocking for you guys. But we're going we're gonna to get through it. So don't worry. Now the anticipation is going to just get you, isn't it? I'm going to take my happy birthday stamp. And I love this big happy birthday. Like, it just makes me happy. Let's see if I can get this on here straight. Oh, nice job, right? Okay, so we're going to close that up for right now. Ooh, I'm getting hot. See, I'm getting a little stressed, so now I'm having a hot flash. Isn't that funny how that works? It's so weird. And then, you know, Lynn, um, Lisa told me to put a date on my glue so that I knew how long it lasted. And I don't know where that bottle of glue is. Maybe I gave it to Haley, and she's got it over there. That's not fair. Lisa, I'll have to do that again because I was really curious to see how long my glue lasts. But I don't see a date on this bottle. And I have this one over here and there's no date on there either. Darn it. All right, so this goes from end to end here. And just that little bit of black popping out, I think it just, it just is the right thing to do. It's going to make everything pop. All right, here comes my card. And I am going to start opening up these beastly, whoops, I had a little piece of ribbon in there, ink pads. And I like to keep the labels. Now, you guys, I know some of you may not know this. When you get a Stampin' Up! ink pad, okay, there's labels on the back. Let me show you this because this is interesting. You peel these labels off. See that label? This is like in a different language, but you peel them off and you put them on the front 
of your ink pad. And then there's also, and I don't do this very often because I'm lazy. I, I've told you that before, I'm a lazy stamper. There's one without words on it. So let's do that right now. I'll show you how this works. This is so you can put this in this little slot here. And when you open your ink pad, you'll know what color this is, okay? So now you've got that in there. See how this one isn't in there? This one is in there. And again, it's just because I'm lazy. When I use my ink pads, most of the time I know what color they are, but these are really helpful for like, maybe you have three different colors of blue and you can't really tell because they're all dark, right? But I like to hold my ink pads towards me like this. I lay them out here so that I can see what color they are from my vantage point back here. Just a little tip. Oh, here, I put this one in there. That must have been something I did a, I, sh I showed somebody how to do it. Oh, look, another one. I'm not as lazy as I thought. And voila, look at that. Holy cow. So we have Highland Heather, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Mango Melody. Now, when I have a whole bunch of ink pads sitting out in front of me, I like to kind of get them away from me so that I don't stamp in the wrong one. It still can happen sometimes, and it's not the end of the world. But I'm going to take this flower and I'm gonna stamp this in the Poppy Parade. And hang on, I have to go to, cause I kinda of drew a little picture of what I wanna do here. <laughs> I'm gonna go here and I'm going to stamp these flowers kind of randomly across my card. One more here and maybe one more right there. Looks kinda of goofy, right? So I'm just gonna leave that right there. Let me get these turned over. I don't have labels on these because these are the old cling stamps. And our labels didn't used to cling that well, not like they do now. So I didn't put labels. I only put labels on one of them. And did I put labels on my happy and, and my happy birthday? So I got lazy again. That's how it works. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with the leaves and we're gonna push this back and bring our granny apple green front and center here. And I'm just going to do some green stamping on here now. And don't sweat the small stuff. These don't need to match perfectly with your flower. Nobody's going to criticize or critique it. And if somebody that you send cards to goes, wow, your leaves don't even match up to your flowers, you don't send them any more cards. That's my rule. <laughs> yeah, we don't need none of that in our lives. Here comes our Mango Melody. And I'm going to just come in here and start filling in. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love that little flower. Isn't it cute? Start filling in around here. And we can fill in some more once we get things put together here. Next, I'm gonna bring in Highland Heather. Well, I don't have, I'm like with this image. Do you like it? Yeah, you can't see it. And I'm just gonna put in some little Highland Heather flowers. And like I said, I just really love these kinds of stamp sets because you can do so many little things with them that they're just so pretty. Now I'm gonna bring the little dots in here with my pool party and we're gonna kind of fill in. And now we can come back in here and add more flowers as we need to, if we need to, we'll see. Move this around back and forth so it doesn't look real uniform. Maybe one more like right here. Okay, now we're gonna see. Oh, one more thing, black marker. I definitely wanted to do the little black marker thing. Um, hang on while I get a piece of paper. Here's my, these are my drawings for my um, golf cards. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just use that. And I'm gonna take the bigger end of my black marker and I'm gonna do a little flicking. And that just adds some neat interest to our card. It kind of tones down that white space. And then remember this piece, we didn't do anything with that. Oh, do I have a color that goes on? Oh yeah, black, where'd that go? Right here. Okay, we're gonna put this together now. Now, when you do the flicking with the marker, this is just our black stamp and write marker. You can buy these individually. They're really nice and I like that we can get them singly. 
is that a word? Perhaps. It is now. Um, but the you don't want to touch the flicked marker like really quickly because you'll smear it. It takes just a, just like a, maybe 30 seconds to dry. So I just want to let you know that so you don't mess up your beautiful creation here. But my idea tonight was to have some really quick and easy cards to make so I can make my mom a whole bunch. And I'll give them to her for Mother's Day. That's like the perfect gift, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in and put it in here. I think I want one more. See how I said you can come back and add some more flowers? We can't even see that flower, right? We can see a little bit of leaves, but we can't even see that flower. I'm going to put another one right there. And then I'm going to come in with this and give us some leaves out there. And now we're going to cover that up. And look how pretty that looks. Oh, I would have liked another one. Mm -hmm right up there but we're gonna just that's gonna be enough I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep going till we have a disaster but once you make one of these then you can kind of gauge a little bit better where you need to go with your flowers right so cut up a whole bunch of these three three quarters by five inch white layers and then stamp them all at once like you can stamp all the red flowers then all the mango flowers then all the purple flowers now I'm gonna put this on some dimensionals. Let's see, I've got all kinds of things going on with dimensionals. Here's some. I should be using black though because, oh, here's my black ones. I just want to pop this up, whoops, a little bit here. Oh, and now let me go back to my Facebook Live so I can see. I'm, I missed, if you guys asked me any questions. Yeah, Trisha says that's Dina's favorite thing to do is flicking. Yes, it is. She's a flicker, that girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. So I use my black dimensionals. These are available in the online store. If you go there and just type in black dimensionals, they'll pop up. You get mini dimensionals and the bigger ones all in one pack. So they're really nice. Okay, here we go. Quick and easy birthday cards. Super pretty and very happy, right? Now, I'm gonna grab my pack of envelopes here because we definitely, let me get this out of here, we definitely need to do a little envelope work. Here, I, got, I have just a scrap of paper, that's what I do, I take a scrap of, I keep all the old flyers and stuff that I make to use for stuff like this. And now, hmm. Um, I think I will stamp, I think I'm going to stamp one flower on the front. We'll do a flap on a different one. One flower on the front, and here's my granny apple green. Just like that. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? And then I love this mango melody flower. I think I'll just put that one right there next to it. Sweet, quick and easy, simple cute little card. Do we need the purple? I think we need the purple. Hang on. Yep. Yep, we needed the purple. Now, I have some rhinestones here, and I'm thinking, why wouldn't I put some rhinestones? Whoops. <laughs> Hang on. My putty end just popped right out of there. Why don't I put some rhinestones on here? And I want some little, little ones. So, I'm going to do this, this, and that. Look at look at how that does. That's so nice, isn't it? It's just so, it just adds a lot to your card. So here's our first card. Let me set these over here. I don't want to lose them. Let me put my things back in place here because we're going to do these all in the same colors. And then I'm, this, I might move into the area where I'm going to freak you out a little bit, but okay. Um, hang on, I'm looking and looking. This is what happens when we stamp on the fly. I don't know what we're doing. Okay, now I'm going to bring in this set. Okay, here comes another one. This is a Mango Melody card base, and this was already in my drawer cut and scored from another card that I made, so I thought I'll use it four and a quarter by 11. It's already scored at five and a half. 
Get that burnished good. Oh, um, did I do an inside on that last card, you guys? Was I being really lazy? Oh my gosh, we can't have that. Hang on, I've got an inside for a card here someplace. Where did it go? I just don't even... Hang on, let me cut one. Is this going to work? Yep, that's the right size. We need an inside for our card. We don't want to leave that blank. Um, we've got this great greeting that says, here's to celebrating you. So we have happy birthday on the front. That's a little crooked. There we go. And then I think I'm going to do, I love these mango melodies. That's going to be sufficient for our card. And this is going to go on the inside of our Highland Heather card. Whew, can't believe I forgot that. I don't always put insides in my cards, but I like to. Depends. Look at pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so now we're on to the next card. Let me close this up, make sure I don't have any ink all over my fingers. Okay, now I've got the same sizes here. This is for the inside layer. Don't let me forget to do that, okay? Here's the front layer. So. Now, this is the part that might freak you right out. I'm going to go back to my Facebook Live. Hang on, you guys are not scrolling. Oh, somebody just said thank you for the card in the mail today. And I missed who you were. Oh, it's Marilyn. You're very welcome, Marilyn. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to clean this off. Did I just dip my card in there? Look at I just dipped my card in there. It'll be fine. Um, and then I'm going to stamp it off so I don't have any residue left on it. Are you ready for this? Uh, we're going to do surgery, right? You did not know I was qualified for this, did you? And perhaps when I do this, I'm not going to be. But we're going to try it. When you cut rubber, you want to make sure that you stay straight up and down with your cutting. Okay, you don't want it to angle one way or another. And I think I did a pretty darn good job, but I just hacked my stamp in half. I'll let you guys recover from that for a moment because I know that was pr probably a little traumatic. <laughs> yeah. And now I've got two stamps. And you're like, I can't believe you just did that. I did. I did it. Okay, next what we're going to do, I'm going to move these out of the way. I've got my stamps all over in my ink pad, so hang on. Here we go. We are going to do Highland Heather birthday. Just like that. Pretty, right? And then we're going to do Mango Melody. i got to stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. Happy. And let's put these in here. I gotta clean this, hang on. This is one way that you can use your stamps a little different. And I'll show you how to fix this. Don't panic, when it's over, it's gonna be okay. Here comes birthday in Poppy Parade. And then we're going to have happy in Granny Apple Green. Isn't it pretty, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, and then I think we'll start over again with purple. Highland Heather, I should say. And then we'll go back to our mango. Now, these are not perfectly straight. They don't have to be. The color is what's going to draw people's eye to them, okay? Then, what are we going to do now? I think we're going to go back with our flowers. And I'm just going to set these all back in here. What do you guys think? Are you freaking out? Like, did that send you right over the edge? <laughs> I know, Lori says, I love it, but I can't believe you cut your stamp. I did. It's going to be okay. I'm going to show you. Well, we're ready to do that right now, okay? We're going to take these two stamps and we're going to put them back on our long block that they fit on. And these are going to match up perfectly. And let me grab this. Voila! So now 
oh, it's so much easier. So I made a card using this technique, <clears throat> but instead of cutting my stamp in half like this, I took my ink pad and I did this up to the Y, you know, I, I covered the Y with ink, but then you're like putzing around because you're afraid you're going to get it on the B. And I thought, Kelly, surgery on the stamp, you're going to love this. And how much easier is that? And now I can do so many more things with this that are so much easier. It's crazy. And Debbie says she loves it, but she doesn't know if she could bring herself to cut your stamps. Well, let me tell you, it is a little scary. I'm not going to lie. However, you can put them right back together perfectly because you didn't cut off each edge once you cut them apart. They will match right up. They will stick right on your block just like a puzzle piece. Yeah, it is much easier. Kathy says so much easier to cut it. Great idea. Let's have a drink to that. Oh my gosh, today I was thinking I need to have Steve get some stuff for old fashions the next time he goes to the store because I really would like one. <laughs> okay, so now what are we going to do with this, you guys? I was thinking that I would kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to stamp a bunch of these on the side. Then you, I found what I, a mistake that I made when I was doing this earlier is I found it's easier, put that green leaf in there right away so you have room for it because I didn't stamp the green leaves before right after I stamped this flower and then I didn't have room for them. And I definitely want those um, green leaves to be in here with my flowers, okay? And then you can do anything else. That's just how I found it. It may work differently for you, but that's how it worked out really good for me. So I'm going to go right here. And again, you want them to be kind of random. You don't want it to look real, um, I don't know, organized. What is the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean. And uh, I think I'll put one right over here. Oh, how cute is that? And then I'm going to come in with those little polka dots again. And I'm just going to kind of put those in and around my flowers. Oh, I should have done a little bit more there. Okay, that's fine. What do you guys think? Is that cute? I think it's really cute. Okay, let me move all this back. I'll bring in my little sheet here. So I don't want to flick um, marker. It doesn't go that far. See, it ended right here before, but I don't want to flick it all over my work surface. And this doesn't seem to hurt your markers at all. So there we go. We got a little flicking going on. I'm going to let that dry just a touch. While we're doing that, I'm going to come in and we're going to set this aside and decorate our envelope. Uh, here comes our blues. And I think I'm just going to... Notice how I'm turning my envelope. You either turn your envelope or turn your stamp so that it's very random looking. Maybe one more right there. Just a little sliver right there. And then we'll do some leaves. Um, yep, right there. Gosh, it's taking me longer to do the envelope than it did the card, right? <laughs> Okay, that looks great. And then how about some of these poppy, or I mean pool party, pool party pokey dots. Do you like how I say that? Pokey dots. Oh, I like that a lot. Look at how cute it is. Okay, now let's finish up our card here. Oh, we've got to do the inside too. So here comes our inside. And I'm going to use the um, celebrating, uh, here to celebrate, is that what it says? Here to, here's celebrating you. Here's to celebrating you. Sorry. Oh my Lord. Let's see if I can get this straight this time. Oh, I did really good. And then I think I will do the little purple flowers right there. Just a little, just a little something. You don't need to, you know, you don't always need to be crazy with that inside. 
Just a little accent looks pretty. Here comes our card base of Mango Melody. Get this straightened out. There we go. I'm going to move these out of the way because you know I'm going to flop my card in them, right? <laughs> okay, and here comes our black layer. That black just always makes your layers pop. And you can use other colors too besides black. But usually the darker colors really make this layer pop. And I love that this layer is smaller than four by five and a quarter so that it shows more of the front of your card. And as I'm looking at this, let's see. I'm wondering if we should add a little bit of this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hmm. I just don't know. Kind of iffy about that. Nope, I'm going to leave it like this, but this would look pretty with it. I think this is good. And then, who saw my dimensionals? I don't know where my... Oh, here they are. They snuck up under there. Somebody just said their mother-in-law. Peggy said her mother-in-law was from Wisconsin, and she makes the best Manhattans. Ooh! She would make them in a jar and store them. I think she said store it on her stairs. Hang on. Oops, I just lost it. For some reason, my screen is not scrolling right. Yep, it hates me. Ugh. Okay, I can't go back. I don't know why. But I think she said she stores it on her basement steps. I'll be able to read it in a little while. Yeah, and Mary Olson said she would have tried this on a stamp that she never used from a long time ago. Yeah, why not? Give it a try. You'll see that it really does work. It doesn't destroy your stamp. It's still perfectly usable. Remember that the image that actually touches your ink and then your cardstock is raised. So whatever you do to the rubber that's lower than that raised image is going to have no effect on your stamping whatsoever. I love this mango melody. This is like such a fun color. Look at how pretty it is, you guys. Okay, so here's our beautiful card right here, right? I'm not done yet. I mean, I really went above and beyond tonight. And I'm not saying that so you guys go, oh, yeah, you did. I'm just like, I couldn't stop. That's what I'm getting at. Not that, it, like, yeah. I just kind of stuck my foot in my mouth. But you know what I mean. I just couldn't stop tonight because I was just having so much fun. I'm really going to miss this. Look at the bling. Yeah. Okay, so now we have two beautiful cards. Really simple and quick, right? You want to see one more? Who wants to see one more? Let's take a little... Yeah, somebody said an old-fashioned sounds good. Darn right it does. I could use one, too. Carl, Carol, Carl. Carol says she has not used Mango Melody yet. Carol, get it out. It's beautiful. It's just, I, it took me a little while to get used to it, but I love it now. It's, um, it's just such a bright, fun color, like Poppy Parade, Mango Melody. They're, like, just fun colors. Okay, one more. Here we come. So I need to decide. I've got a um, Poppy Parade card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I've already folded it in half. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment inside. And this is so funny because I'm really giving these cards to my mom. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you for um, being with me. <laughs> Well, I make the cards for my mom. Now I just stamped that. That needs to move a little bit that way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to do this one right here. And this. Right there. Ah, oh, love it, right? It's simple. It's quick. It's easy. I have a pair of Skecher tennis shoes for my mom, too, that I didn't get to give her for her birthday. So, And I think the other thing that I'm going to do is she got to go um, for the first time in a month. My mom likes to go out to eat a lot. <laughs> and um, for the first time in a month, they actually did carry out fish fry from one of the local places up there that kind of opened back up for carry out. And 
hang on, I'm thinking just a bit. Oh, I know. And so um, she said it was just so nice to go get fish from Behind Bars, which is the name of the tavern that sells the fish fry. Oh, I'll show you this in a second. I've already stamped it. Um, and so I think what I'll try to do is get her a gift gift certificate from that place so she can get fish again. I thought that would be really nice. <gasps> okay, look at this, you guys. So this was my first attempt. This was my, let's see if this works. Um, I stamped all my flowers kind of up here in a little cluster. And then remember these, remember these dies? I don't have the cards anymore because I mailed them out already. But remember these beautiful dies? Let me set that on here. This is called, hang on. Lasting Elegance dies, and there's a bunch of different ones in here, but I used this one, okay, which is what is used around the edge right here, to do this. So I die cut my cardstock first. You want to do that first in case it moves or you mess it up, then you haven't done all the rest of this work. But I did that, and this is the first card I made, so I was actually inking up my happy and stamping it and cleaning it and then inking up my birthday and stamping it and cleaning it and that's when I came up with the brilliant idea to chop it in half so um, I die cut this first and again these are called lasting elegance yep lasting elegance dies there in the spring mini catalog I cut this up or die cut this then I stamped and I used all the same colors all the same flowers I just put my little cluster right up here so then we're going to take our Poppy Parade card base, and I forgot to flick my front of my card. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it now. But this layer is four by five and a quarter, so this is a smaller margin around the outside here. Get that on here. I'm going to try flicking anyways, because I am brave. Yes, I am. I am brave. <laughs> it's like, boy, she's kind of full of herself too, isn't she? Yeah. Self-esteem issues. Not really ever been part of my life. <laughs> I think that my marker needs... I have a bunch of these. Like, a bunch. Maybe like three. Because I like to do the flicking thing too. There we go. Now we're juicy, people. There you go. Get rid of that one. Got another one here. Okay, so here's another one. And now we have to do an envelope. So let me get this out of here. Now we're going to do something with our envelope. And I am thinking... I am thinking, where'd my blocks go? Here's my empty blocks. Here we go. Look what I'm going to do. You're going to love this. This just popped into my little brain. Okay. We're going to go happy. Oops. I should have done birthday first. Let's do birthday first. And I'm going to go with purple. This is our Highland Heather. Do birthday. And then I'm going to do poppy parade. Happy, and then we're gonna clean. And I got a little edge right there. Be careful. Happy, <laughs> I love it. See how much easier this is now. And happy. What? That is just adorable. Gosh, I kill myself sometimes. <laughs> Okay, stamping on the fly tonight, my friends, I would call an insane success. I'm pretty proud with the way this turned out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jane says, please quit using more things I have to buy. You're welcome, Jane. Glad I could help you out with that. That money is getting moldy. You need to get it out of your pocketbook. <laughs> and make yourself happy. Buy yourself a little happiness, right? So here we go. Let me, oh wait, we forgot. We didn't put any rhinestones on. I definitely want some rhinestones. So let's just do, mm, how about a rhinestone in the middle of our little mango melody flowers? And right there. So cute. Okay. 
There we go. Let's bring those cards back in. There we go. Please make sure you, sure you share this video. You can click on that share button right now. I almost forgot to say anything. I appreciate the shares. They really do help me out a lot. The more people that watch my videos, the bigger I can grow my business. And um, yeah, it's just good for everybody. It's good for the people who can get the ideas. It's good for me. It's, it's good for everyone. Look at how pretty they are. I love them. What do you guys think? I'm so happy. They just make me happy. Now, where did my stamp set go? Hang on, I've got stuff everywhere. Here it is. Again, you guys, this is perennial birthday. It's an amazing stamp set. If you don't have this, like Jane said, you need to get it. And if you want to, throw in these lasting elegance dies. Like, these are so easy to use. I love them. You saw the cards that I made, oh, I don't know, about a month or so, or so ago. This was a sleeper in the mini catalog. Like, I never even knew it was in there. Let me see if I can find it here. I never saw it. I don't know why. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But here it is right here. Yeah, because it's just got that around the outside. It just didn't grab me, right? It's on page 18 in the spring mini catalog. This... I just glossed over it like I didn't see it. I don't know. They they should have been making pretty things. <laughs> I mean, these cards are pretty, but they're not like popping out at me. They should have had some darker, bolder, brighter colors. But the stamp set has some pretty images in it. There's a couple dies in there that cut out some hearts, a little flower, and a bigger flower. Then all these beautiful fonts and sentiments. This is retiring. The dies, however, are not. They are going to um, be in our new catalog so I was really excited to see that because you will see more of this from me I love these dies they're amazing so yeah okay I'm going to turn you guys around because I don't like talking to your head close your eyes uh oh it says I should not rotate my phone I wasn't trying to rotate it how's the quality tonight you guys feel like it's better because I made Steve Slap Steve's hand on the old streaming from his phone to the stereo. I think so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry. That was fun. I wish that every time I wanted to stamp on the fly turned out like that. I just, yeah, it doesn't. And then it makes me really nervous. And then I feel almost like I've wasted your time. And I hate that. Like, I don't want to waste your time. But I love, I love this. That is super cute, right? I love this card. Yeah, very cool. I love this one. It's just so very quick and easy. And again, you can take this stamp and put it right back to, whoops, right back together on one block and keep using it as it was intended to be used. And then who isn't gonna love that? Like, this is just the coolest thing ever. And you know what? You could use the flowers over here with any like blocky sentiment and stamp it in different colors. If you needed a thank you or, um, I don't know what else, baby, 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 you could do. Yeah, super cute. I love these. I'm very I'm kind of impressed with myself tonight. <laughs> I know I'm among friends, so I can say that, right? Yeah. All right. Did I miss any questions? Ingrid, I'm so happy you're going to be on my team pretty soon. Yay! I have a few people waiting to join my team. And I just had um, Cheryl Rush join my team today. I'm pretty sure it was Cheryl. Hang on, let me look. Da -da -da. Cheryl, are you at the... Yep, I'm pretty sure. So that was kind of exciting. Yep, she just joined my team today. Yay, you're gonna love it. So, if you wanna know anything about my team, they're fabulous, and I don't um, I don't push anybody to do any more than they want to do. If you want to be a discount shopper and get a discount on all your wonderful Stamping Up products, you go for it. I don't judge you. If you want to build a business, I am available to help you. I do business training every Wednesday. Well, th we didn't today because our schedules got kind of messed up, but I do business training every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. It's a recorded Zoom conference call. I do question and answer Facebook Live with my team every Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. And, um, yeah, 
Kelly, can anyone order the envelopes you keep your cards in? Okay, so are you talking about these bigger envelopes? I, If you are, I will show you exactly where they are. They're called cello bags. And they are, we have clear envelopes too that fit your card. These are a little bit bigger. Our cello bags are on page 173. And... Yeah, so here's our catalog. These are our cello bags, and they're six by eight, and that's what I always dump my cardstock layers out of, if that's what you're talking about. Now, if you're looking for clear envelopes, we have those too. This is a clear envelope, and it perfectly fits a card in it, okay? Those are on our envelope page, which is on page 168. You could just type in envelope or cello bag in the online store and you'll find them. But here's our A2 envelopes. We have them in vanilla, whisper white, and then clear is on here too. So the clear you get 50 for $6. The other ones you get 40 in a pack for $7.50. And those are the envelopes that I use so one thing I really like about Stampin' Up! envelopes is that they have like kind of a coating on them that makes your images really stamp well. So in the cello bags, you just put a stamp on the outside and make the, you. oh yeah, you can actually mail them in those cello bags too, I guess. I've never done that, but you would just fold it over and tape it closed, I would assume. Um, I have mailed cards in our clear envelopes and that's kind of fun. You just put your label on here and your return address up here and and then your postmaster gets to see what's inside. So that's kind of fun. I don't know if there's extra postage to do that. I wouldn't think so, but I'm not real sure. Are the little 2 by 2 acetate boxes staying? So let me go back to that page. Because if they weren't circled, then they are. I think they are. I think those are staying. And hang on. Let me look for you. Um, yeah, they are. Those are staying. The bakers, the bakers boxes, and the dotted bags are going, as well as the copper tea tin. That's really cool to give as a gift. It fits cards in it. As well as the three by six gusseted bags. These are these are really small. They're you know only three inches by six. Those are retiring. Those are nice for treat bags. I believe. Oh, th these are staying though. These are in the mini catalog and they have the little dotty things on them. This was one of my Easter things that I made. It's got some kisses in it. I've been eating them. <laughs> is this stamps are retiring? Yes, it is. The perennial, sorry, now I'm chewing and talking. Perennial birthday is retiring. My stomach just growled really loud. I'm sh I hope you didn't hear that. This is retiring. Yeah. So you need to get it. It's awesome. You're going to be happy you had it. You saw how easy this was to create these cards, right? And you can just pick out. I just picked out a color palette. I just, like, picked out some of my favorite colors and made a card with it. And, of course, these colors look really fun together. So, all right, you guys. I need to eat supper. And then I need to get on that tutorial because I really should have had it done, like, last Saturday. Nobody's yelled at me yet. And I see that only one person has it done. And we need six of them. So... I looked last night and I was feeling like, oh my Lord, everybody probably has theirs in and they're just waiting for me, but that's not the case. So I'm glad. <laughs> I'm not the only one running a little bit behind. Um, Becky, hi Becky Christensen. It's good to see you. Becky's on my team. Um, she says she loves the bags with the dotty things on it. Yeah, I do too. They're, they're just really fun to have those little dots on them. They'll work for anything. This is the pom-pom from the Birthday Bonanza set that I lost. So it brings back some bad memories for me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I really do need to use Mango Melody more. I didn't realize how pretty it was. I know, right? That's what Joe said. Um, I completely agree with you. It is a really vibrant, very pretty color. I absolutely love it. And, you know, funny thing. Um, one, of my, one of my stamping friends just hates this color. She just hates it. Like, she will never buy it or never use it. And I... So I love making stuff with it and go, look how pretty this is. <laughs> kind of just rub it in her face a little bit. I'm, I'm a little snarky like that. It's all in good fun. Yeah. So 
Uh, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Oh, and that reminds me, tomorrow is Paper Pumpkin Blog Hop Day, so I need to get my Paper Pumpkin projects done tonight, too. And since I had a two-hour nap, I think I should be able to handle that, right? Hi, Ella and Christy. Welcome. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of projects to do and videos to shoot tonight, and the sky looks really funny outside right now. Like, hmm, like eerie. But, um... I'm going to go eat some barbecued ribs. Oh, Steve said he was going to make baked potatoes, but I don't think he did either. Oh, well. Oh, Helen lost her pom-pom too. It is, it is weird, right? Like, that pom-pom made me happy. It's so cute. Oh, well. It's not the end of the world. All right, you guys. If you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. Um... If you want to join my team, there are uh, there's a button on the right-hand side of my blog that says $99 kit. If you want to check out my online classes, I have the Country Club class available. Buy the Dot class is coming. I might have the advertising up for it this weekend, but I won't be doing a blog post on that until the 8th of May. I thought it was going to be this Friday, but we got too much going on with other things. So... By the Dock is going to be my next kit class, and um, it's late to be eating dinner. It is, however, when I'm going to be up till like probably 2 in the morning, it's not that late because I've got six hours to go. <laughs> so think about that in your time frame of a day. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's weird, but that's how I roll. Um Anyways, all the information you need is always on my blog. That's my landing pad. That's where you can find all the things. Online ordering button, the monthly host code. It's not really monthly, but I call it monthly. Current host code, $99 kit. You can it, All your questions will be answered when you go to that. You can also check out my online technique club and my online classes. They're all there. It's all there. I try to make it easy for you guys. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the hearts. Please make sure you click that thumbs up button, the like button, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. Click the share button, hit the bell on YouTube. That way you'll get notifications when I go live. And I will be joining you again tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to make, but it'll be fun. Thanks, you guys. Have a great Wednesday. Bye-bye.